Brother Neil here, and today we're trying all new M&Ms. It's March 2019, and M&Ms has just kicked off this wonderful contest of trying the internationally inspired flavors. There's Thai coconut, there's Mexican jalapeno, and English toffee, and they're new in Canada. You may have seen other reviewers try these. Shout out to Sea Snacks, who's tried these in the U.S., but they've just released in Canada, and they're really exclusive and hard to track down. Believe me, because I've been all over the place looking for them. So how about we rip these bags open, show you what these bad boys look like, do that quick sniff test before we tell you how they taste. Just to let you know, these are all peanut M&M variations. Uh, last year, M&Ms did the crunchy variations, and we had tried the mint, the raspberry, and the espresso. We voted for espresso, but uh, mint ended up winning that contest, and they are now found on shelves. I wonder if the winner of this contest will stick around. Thai coconut. Doesn't that sound really interesting? Like coconut inside of an M&M peanut? I wonder if it actually has a coconut-like flavor. And what will the Thai-inspired flavor taste like? Let's rip this bag open. This are what the Thai coconut peanut M&Ms look like in Canada. Mmm. Let's do that quick sniff test. Oh, wow. I can actually smell some coconut coming through there. All right, here we go. It's the Thai coconut M&Ms, all new in Canada, going in. Mmm. Wow. That coconut flavor is really prevalent after you get past the crunchy candy coating. And then it finishes nicely with a peanut. Mmm. That is really interesting. All right. The most peculiar of the three flavors is Mexican jalapeno. I wonder how M&M's is turning this Mexican peanut into a jalapeno flavored candy. Is it going to be spicy? I'm a little bit worried about this one. And this are what the Mexican jalapeno M&M's look like in Canada. Let's do that quick sniff test. You can actually get a spicy nose coming through there. Okay, here we go. It's the Mexican jalapeno M&M's going in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that is hilarious. You totally get jalapeno flavor coming through once you crunch through that candy coating. I can't believe it. It really complements the peanut really well. And it's not that pickled jalapeno type flavor. It's like almost like a fresh jalapeno. Last but not least, it's English toffee. So... Uh, we've had um, coffee nut M&M's before from the U.S. I wonder if these will taste similar to that. Toffee, coffee, it's all the same, right? And this are what the English toffee peanut M&M's look like in Canada. Let's do a quick sniff test. Whoa, you really get that toffee smell coming through there. All right, here we go. It's the English Toffee Peanut M&M's pre-Brexit going in. Oh my gosh. It was like, this was my appetizer. This was my spicy main course. 
And holy smokes, this is my sweet dessert. Will it be a trip to Thailand, a trip to Mexico, or a trip to England? We'll tell you how to enter that contest in the description below. So now it comes down to, what is Brother Neil going to vote for on this Junk Food Junction Showdown? Well, first of all, I'm giving these all a Brother Neil thumbs up. I love the Thai coconut. I love the Mexican jalapeno. I love the English toffee. But in terms of staying true to the M&M's brand and the flavor that I think would have the longest staying power, in Canada, I think English toffee might actually win. North American wide, it's kind of a toss up. I think Americans might actually pick the Mexican jalapeno because it's so unique. But for this Junk Food Junction showdown, Brother Neil is giving English toffee the win. We hope to see you in our next candy showdown and look for more teasers on our Instagram page. The link is right down here. We'll tell you what we've got coming up on future YouTube reviews. Hope you like this one. We'll see you in the next one real soon. Brother Neil, out.